This is a CBS 4 News update. Good morning, I'm Maribel Rodriguez. It's the first day of public school in Miami-Dade County, and it's starting just like the school year ended online and even with school online students are still encouraged to wear their uniforms some teachers have expressed concerns over adequate training with the online system but superintendent alberto carvalho has ensured parents students and teachers the district is ready for virtual learning miami-dade restaurants will once again be allowed to open their dining rooms under strict restrictions new rules go into effect this morning which include allowing only 50 percent capacity inside restaurants Restaurants can only sit up to six people per table and also air conditioning must stay on with windows and doors open and you must keep your mask on until you're served a drink. Restaurant workers are looking forward to welcoming people back in. A lot of uh, amazing moments, emotional moments and, you know, feeling like it was like something's going on, but it's still there's a lot of uh, good feelings, good positive uh, vibrations inside then it makes you feel like everything is going to be all right very soon. Also reopening today in Miami-Dade casinos and just like restaurants, casinos in the county will only allow 50% capacity and customers must wear masks while gambling. People will also not be allowed to eat or drink while sitting at slot machines or gambling tables. Miami-Dade Fire Rescue says a lightning strike caused a house fire in Miami Gardens. The department responded to a house along Northwest 188th Street and 39th Avenue just after 7 p.m. last night. Multiple Miami-Dade fire crews were needed to extinguish the fire that started in the attic. I smelled it and I came out and I saw the smoke coming down there when I immediately ran to call fire and she said that there was some, they were, it's been a response to that call. Other people have called already. A Miami-Dade firefighter said the house was abandoned and no one was hurt. SpaceX has successfully launched and returned a Falcon 9 rocket on another mission. Three, two, one, zero. Ignition. Lift off. The first of two planned flights was originally called off due to the weather. However, the company took advantage of improved weather to launch an Argentine remote satellite on Sunday. It was the 100th flight of a SpaceX rocket. Now, CBS4 weather. Hi there, South Florida. So on this Monday, we're starting off quiet on the radar, but with a bit of cloud cover, especially out west and over the lower keys. Now, as far as rainfall goes, it's expected uh, later on this afternoon. In fact, we're still under the southwest flow, so uh, we do expect the showers and storms to develop right along the coast or at least over the east eastern cities. By around noontime, the coverage at this time, it's going to be isolated. However, as we head towards the middle of the day, it will become more spotty and scattered and some pockets of heavy downpours will push from Miami-Dade up through Broward through around four o'clock, five o'clock this afternoon. So that's when you'll need the rain gear as uh, you're driving your way back home from work. High pressure is in control. Now the center of the high has been just to the south and east of us and that's why we've been under the southwesterly flow. Thunderstorms have been targeting the east metro areas over the weekend and again today as we head into tomorrow and Wednesday it's going to change. Our breeze will start to come back out of the Atlantic as this high pushes up towards the north and it will be basically to the east of the peninsula. So afternoon thunderstorms that develop will target the inland area areas, uh, basically the western cities and over the Everglades and rain chances, by the way, are going down slightly by Wednesday as well. Now for today, you want to make it a beach day? Certainly can. Just keep an eye on the sky for those thunderstorms this afternoon. Otherwise, it is a nice beach day as far as those rip currents go. It's at a low risk and the breeze is light out of the south 5 to 10 miles per hour. Of course, use a sunscreen, drink plenty of water, keep yourself hydrated and also boaters. Nice day to head out on the water. The bays are light and seas less and two feet. Highs today 93, but feeling like the triple digits uh, once again this afternoon. That is not changing. Here's a look at the feels like forecast. So we'll at least get over 100 degrees uh, in the heat indices. But once the thunderstorms get going, that will cool down the, t the air temperature as we head into the later half of the day. Here's a look at the seven day forecast highs in the low 90s. Then on Thursday, this is the day we get a better chance for thunderstorms as a tropical wave comes in over our area. Jen, thanks. And that's the news for now. You can always find us on CBSMiami.com and tune into CBS 4 News at 5, 6, 7 and 11. Follow today's important headlines.